You guys, I feel like I'm gonna look really weird in this video because I have a bun on my head. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I can't get my bun in the frame of the camera and I kind of like sitting up close to the camera to feel like I'm here, I'm talking to you guys, but I kind of want to sit back so you guys can see the bun-ish going on. Anyway, there's a bun up there, I promise. But anyway, today's video is gonna be my monthly favorites Everything is lined up behind me. I got a bunch of stuff to show you guys in today's video, like 101 liquid lipsticks because that has been my absolute obsession lately, including the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. A new shampoo and conditioner, a brush, a bronzer, a new eyebrow product, and uh, what else? Oh, yes, some jewelry. All right, so the jewelry that I wanna show you guys today is actually from Mark by Avon. and. I don't know if you guys know about Mark by Avon, but I know back in the day it used to be extremely popular and it's kind of like nostalgic for me because my mom used to sell Avon. And I know nowadays you don't have to like actually get a representative that sells Avon through the booklets, but you can actually just go on avon.com and purchase directly from the website. I personally think that that's a lot more convenient, a lot more easy to do. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys are these earrings right here. These are called the no jacket required earrings. Let me zoom you guys in real quick. You guys know that I'm not really too big anymore. I mean, I used to really, really in back in the day be big on statement earrings but I love these so much. They're still studs, but oh my God, you guys, they're so cool. They kind of, they have that little stud right in the front, and then that little piece is actually in the back. I'm like bending my ear in all weird, awkward positions right now. Can you guys make that out? These are the coolest earrings ever, I love them. So I also got another cool piece that I'm kind of trying to learn how to wear because it's actually called a palm cuff, and I'm pretty sure that's how you wear it. I'm trying to get used to it on my hand, but I think it's a really cool and different piece. Let me give you guys a little bit of a close up, but I actually saw something very similar to this at Nordstrom and you never know, this right here might be the next new big trend. So here's another really cute little bracelet set that I got from them. I just, I don't know. I think that they really have stepped up their game. I feel like this would be really cute for the younger crowd. I'm actually going to be holding onto this and giving it to my sister-in-law as a gift. And the last little piece of jewelry that I picked up is for myself. This is so over the top and beautiful and gorgeous for the holiday season. I know that the camera is not gonna do this any justice. Hold on, let me zoom this baby up. Honestly, you guys, do I even need to say anything? This is so freaking gorgeous. My thing is statement necklaces. I love over the top big statement necklaces and I feel like this would be so perfect for a holiday party with probably just an all black dress or like an olive dress, really any solid print dress. Oh my God, I love this. So you guys know that I can't stay away from like extra sparkly little things. So I also picked this up. I think it would make a great gift for Christmas and it's kind of like a little sparkly clutch but it's also a brush set. So all of these things, all these items are from Mark by Avon. Type in the discount code MarkSparkle at checkout in order to receive 30% off of your purchase and they also are asking that if you showcase any of the items that you purchased from Mark on your Instagram that you use the hashtag Mark Sparkle as well. I don't know if you guys can still tell but I feel like I'm struggling to get my words out still because I am still sick for I think about the past two and a half weeks I've had a sinus infection um, it's like kind of on and off I'm definitely still sick but I'm struggling I want to get these words out I want to talk to you guys I miss you so much I don't like to go more than like two days without filming so the next thing that I wanted to show to you guys or show 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 to you guys, show, share with you guys, show you guys, I don't know. So breaking news, I have a brand new shampoo and conditioner to share with you guys. And this is really cool because it's actually a garlic shampoo and conditioner. These are really heavy, so I'm just gonna be holding up one. So I know what you guys are gonna be thinking. Garlic, it's a scary word, it smells like crap. But don't worry because the actual garlic extract that is used in this shampoo and conditioner is odorless. And this shampoo does have a typical like salon type of smell to it. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it all over the place. Now, since I always let you guys know that I have a very oily hair type, I get questions from you guys all the time asking me to come out with kind of like a hair care routine, what I use on my hair, what's good for a really, really oily hair type. Now, not gonna lie to you guys, when I was on Accutane, my hair or my scalp did not produce any oil for the entire six months that I was on the medication. And you guys, it was the most amazing thing ever. I could go like six days in a row without having to wash my hair, no dry shampoos. There was just no oil production in my scalp. It was amazing. As soon as I got off of Accutane, the floods, it, it, it all came back. I think I totally took for granted 
that six months where I didn't have an oily scalp because I forgot how annoying it is to have to wash your hair every single day and then style it and I just feel like it's it's such a waste of time and to be honest with you guys that's why I don't really heat style my hair or really style it all that often because I'm just not one of those people that can curl or straighten my hair or style it and rock it for three to four days because I have to wash my hair basically every single day. So it's pretty discouraging but this garlic shampoo right here is supposed to be especially for people a, with oily hair, and B, that experience hair loss. When I use this combination of this shampoo and conditioner, I can wash my hair every three days. I still can't get away with washing it every six days, but I mean, that's not really too realistic anyway, but I feel like if I can prolong my freshly washed hair and not get as much of an oil production the very next day, then it's definitely worth it to me. I believe that this is actually a Spanish line or Hispanic line, and they're just starting to reach out to the American economy. Did I say that right? I did want to read you guys a blurb right off of their website and it says that this shampoo kelp helps kelps. Lord help me. This shampoo helps keep hair balanced, eliminates sebaceous discharge, promotes scalp circulation, and it's great for people with hair loss. And then it says statistics show that 99% of hair loss amongst men and women is due to excess oil, which creates a layer of wax that clogs the pores and the scalp, which smothers the hair root and prevents the growth of new hair. So, this shampoo and conditioner right here is combating two things. Oily hair, oily scalp, that's one thing. And the other thing is hair loss. I've only been using this combination for about a week and a half, so I am going to be testing it out even more. I cannot speak on the whole hair loss area section right now. As far as the oil control, I will give it two thumbs up. There's also like thousands and thousands of positive reviews on that shampoo and conditioner, so I'm gonna link the website down below. Next, mm, I'm gonna wait to go into the liquid lipsticks because I got, a, oh my God, a lot of those. And what I'm gonna be talking about next is a eyebrow dye that I have been using. I let you guys know that yes, my eyebrows are tattooed, but I still do have an everyday eyebrow routine because they're not this bold and out there. Um, the tattoo isn't, so I still do add on to it a little bit. I will link that video down below if you guys wanna see what my eyebrows look like, just a tattoo, no makeup on top. But anyway, with that, with that being said, why do I always go off on these tangents? A lot of you guys had questions on if I still dye my eyebrows because I came out with a video on how I dye my eyebrows, I think maybe about, I wanna say three years ago. I will also link that video down below if you guys wanna see exactly how I dye them, and the answer is yes. Even though my eyebrows are tattooed, that's the skin behind my eyebrows, but I also like my actual eyebrow hairs to be black. I know that they say black eyebrows are too harsh, but I don't know you guys. I have jet black hair and I feel like the hair, the hair dye, it's like a very, very dark, dark black brown. It's not like a straight up blue black. So I feel like I could still get away with it. My whole point in going into all that is, is that I've been using a new eyebrow hair dye and I, yeah, an, an eyebrow hair dye because the eyebrow hairs. I picked this one up from Amazon and I believe it was around like $5 and I really like the whole delivery system because it's a lot easier than the one that I used in my video because the one I used in my video was like a powder capsule that you have to mix with the developer and this one right here is instead of a powder capsule it's a black gel or a color gel and then the developer right here. You mix them together, you apply them onto your eyebrows um, with the little brush that is also provided somewhere in here. Okay, apparently it fell out. Man, I really needed that. Hmm. Anyway, you leave it on your eyebrows for about five to seven minutes and then you wipe it away and you've got beautiful, dark, bold out there brows. If you guys wanna see the video on how I dye my eyebrows, I will leave that down below and I will do an updated one using this product if you guys are interested to see it. Liquid lipsticks. It has been a sick obsession. I do not remember the last time that I used a regular lipstick or a lip gloss or anything other than a lip liner or a liquid lipstick on my lips for the past three months. I'm telling you guys, it's like the only thing that I wanna use lately. So I do have a couple of them that I've been really loving. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys here on my videos and also on Instagram to name the ones that I've been wearing lately and also my favorite ones. I do think that I wanna come out with a video swatching uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, the ones that I kind of rotate the most. Let me know because I'm not gonna try them on my lips right now, but I will show you guys a quick swatch on my hand. So let's start off with the one that I have on my lips right now. This is by ColourPop and they are only $6 each and, and they're not gonna like rape you on shipping charges. I think the shipping is gonna be like $3 or something like that. So I have um, two of them that I've been using a lot but the, ones, the one that I have on my lips today is Beeper and the other one that I really love is called Trap. So let's zoom you in. 
Okay, so here's Beeper on my lips. I will say that they look a lot lighter in the bottle than when you actually put them on your lips. They actually even look a little bit lighter on your hand as well. When you put them on your lips, they kind of darken up. So that is Beeper. Oh my God, you guys. I love, love, love the ColourPop formula. It's very, very, it dries down to like a powder finish. Um, the only thing that I don't like is that it wears off a little bit weird. And you guys did let me know that on my vlog channel. It kind of, um, leaves a ring around your lips and only wears off in the center. But I mean, $6 for a liquid lipstick and it looks amazing for at least four hours, I'm gonna say, so I still love it. This is Trap right here, which is a beautiful, like, dusty lilac brown. Another one of my absolute favorites is by Ofra Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Pasadena. It's another, it's very similar. It's like that lilac-y, or not lilac -y, it's kind of like a dusty pink brown, and that is it right there. And then I also wanna show you guys three that I picked up from Sephora. Let's show you guys, uh, oh, wow, not in focus, of course. I'm gonna show you guys the one that's actually from the Sephora line, and this is called Marvelous Mauve. And this one is a lot more pink than what I'm used to. I normally don't like pinks on me, but I actually like to use this as a mixing shade and it looks really nice mixed with Pasadena. So again, that is Marvelous Mauve. And last but not least, you guys know that I have been on a wild goose hunt for Lolita by Kat Von D. And I have not been able to find it in the full size virgin. Virgin? version but i did find the little duo that comes with the original lolita and that like orangey lolita that i don't know the whole story about how that shade was created but i love both of them so i will show you both i will say that out of all the liquid lipsticks that i have that the kat von d ones are the longest lasting if there is a type of liquid lipstick that i have not tried or mentioned yet anywhere on my channel and you feel like it's the cream of the crop of all liquid lipsticks, please let me know because I will go crazy buying every single shade. So this is the liquid lipsticks. This is um, Lolita by Kat Von D, the original, and this is Lolita 2, I believe they're calling it. So you can see that all these pretty much dry down to a very, very matte finish. The ColourPop is probably the most matte with the Kat Von D ones being a close second. And yes, I did pretty much die because I was not able to get my hands on any of the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. And I'm, I'm still, it's, it's, it's a sensitive subject. And I cannot believe that I am actually up to my very last favorite. And this is a little bit of a duo, a combo that I feel like these two need to get married and have a baby because they work amazing together. So this is a bronzer by Hourglass and it took me the longest to bite the bullet and purchase this bronzer because it is so expensive. I believe it's like $55 and that's a lot for a bronzer. So this is called their Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. The reason that I wanted this bronzer so much is because it has a very luminous quality to it and if you guys like that beautiful like J.Lo dewy type of bronze glow, I think that you would absolutely love this. With that being said, this bronzer with the MAC 135 brush is heaven. I saw Jaclyn Hill talk about this brush and the way that her makeup just like glided, glided on? Is that the right word? It, it glid on? I don't know. It just went on so smoothly and like luxuriously and oh my god, I love it. I, lo I just, I just want to sit here all day and just do this. Yes. Oh my God, I love it. And that is all the favorites that I have to share with you guys this month. Definitely let me know what you guys have been loving and I will see you on my next video. Mwah, mwah, mwah.